So here is a very healing meal that I make that's real easy for me. Um, everything here is actually organic. I've discovered parsnips. So parsnips, fresh cabbage, and organic. And look, the other thing I have tonight, I try to have a real natural organic diet. So much so more important when you are healing. Um, but look at what I scored. We have had so many rains lately that there are mushrooms popping out all over. And these are actually called shaggy mushrooms. Aren't they beautiful? And the other day I picked a, a lobster m mushroom, which is, I believe are called a chantels, and they were selling them at Fred Meyer for $9.99. That's insane. So I'm going to rinse these off, and I'm going to uh, put those in, and I'm going to show you. Cast iron, so much more healthy. If you're going to buy any type of pans, uh, really stick with cast iron. I pretty much... This is it, 100%. Anything that I put in my mouth is going to go in a cast iron pan. So the parsnips are going to go in first. And the other part of my healing process, and friends, you really got to get some coconut oil. I use a variety. Uh, I've been getting most of my coconut oil from the tropical traditions, but I have this, Nature's Way coconut oil. This is extra virgin. And... I also have another big tub here from Azure Market. This is coconut uh, expeller pressed, and it's as you can see, it's organic. Get some coconut oil. It's just it has so many therapeutic things that can benefit the body. It's got the medium chain uh, fatty acids, which blow blow away any other uh, fatty acid. Period. Uh, you know, stop putting that, that, that canola in your body and the vegetable oils in your body. Um, the nice thing about coconut oil, if you don't already know, is that it can be heated to high temperatures. The other thing is you should always have, this is kind of my huh, a good shelf to store my good stuff, uh, organic extra virgin olive oil. Great stuff. Uh, usually use it on stuff that I'm not frying, obviously. And then I always keep handy my chai seeds because I'm always throwing chai seeds in um, in in the mix. Um, and then then oh, and I'll show you what I did with. Look at how beautiful these are. So I just lightly rinsed my uh, my shaggies, and I am going to throw those in the pan last and just lightly sauté them. And then oh, I got to show you what else I have. Fresh organic, fresh organic garlic. Look at that. Oh, so, you know, and the other thing about all of this dicing and cutting up, I wasn't able to do this a week ago. I wasn't able to use this left arm um, and use a knife like this and chop. But believe it or not, all of this couldn't get done. So, be it a combination of uh, the Lord and my Savior healing my left arm and good nutrition and, and friends, the reason why I'm really impressing upon the fact of organic is because the less toxins you can put in your body during the healing process, like Starry is going through, I got all of this to heal. I've got all of this to heal. I got bone grafting going on. I've got my fracture that needs to be healed. I've got a ligament tear that needs to be healed. Food really needs to be uncontaminated. It needs to be used to detoxify you, not poison you. And that's why I'm showing you what I'm eating tonight because it is. it needs to be 100 organic. It needs to be from the woods. Um, and it needs to be, if it's going to be fried, it needs to be fried in a cast iron pan and you need to use the coconut oil. So, so important. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, dice up that... that uh, that garlic real quick. And here's a, a tip on garlic too. When you cut into your garlic, let it rest a little bit before you throw it in the pan. It's kind of a gourmet uh, tip. When you cut it right away, uh, uh, the flavor, it does something to the flavor. You need to let it rest. 
So maybe some of you already know that, but I read that a long time ago and it really does help. So look how beautiful that is. I've got my shaggies in there and my fresh garlic. So this fresh stuff, I will lightly saute. And when it comes to other ingredients, uh, to make it pop a little bit, I can add a little bit of heat. As you can see, I've got all my hot peppers here. I'll ground up a, a couple hot peppers and throw that in there. And I will also, in my cabinet here, I've got, this is my salary. Did I say that right? Everybody makes fun of me and how I talk. Well, I'm really going to talk funny with this poop now. They all had celery smells so good. And you know what? I could probably do... That's basil. So again, all my own herbs. And here's the hot... Pepper. I usually have hot pepper already ground up. That's where all those seeds. But I'm just going to do this real quickly. Now, can you see that? It's getting pretty now. Beautiful. So that is. Uh, so that is how you feed your body during an injury or sickness or, you want, or you're on the road to recovery. Everything that goes into this here is fueling this here and it will help you heal. And look at how simple this meal was. This is, look at that, and I'm guaranteeing it's tasty. Everything that I do, you know, I have to I have to cook for Mr. Hilder. You don't think he doesn't have an appetite? The stuff I have to make on the homestead has to be tasty. So this is 100% vegan and 100% tasty. So healing foods from Starry. God bless you, friends. And don't forget cleanup with your compost bucket.